It's out with the old and in with the new for some students in Hamilton County. What used to be a 60 year old building is now a state of the art 150,000 square foot facility and it sits right on top of where the old school stood. News Channel 9's Alyssa Sperato took a tour of the new Middle Valley Elementary School. She has more on what the new and improved building has to offer. We took the tour yesterday, just two days before Middle Valley Elementary opened its doors to students. This was Chief Academic Officer Jill Levine's first time walking the halls of Middle Valley. Well, I heard that kids walked in yesterday and said, this school is epic. And, um, you know, I think when we teach in ways that make kids want to learn, they want to learn more. Okay, here we go. Leading the tour, Principal Allison DeYoung. Our first stop takes us to the pre-K wing. Now, this steps into our pre-K wing. We'll have two pre-K classes and an infant care. The infant care is for teachers, children, babies. Wow and the bathrooms. Children are here washing their hands, can kind of monitor a little better. Then we move on to the classroom. You want to show us? Yes. Yes. Let's go ahead and I'll show you a classroom. Hanging on the wall in each classroom now sits a 70 inch flat screen TV. Each one equipped with Apple TV so teachers can interact with their students during real time lessons online. It's there we met third grade teacher Terry Bailey. I think the technology is what's really amazing with the, the huge flat screen TVs, the iPads for teachers. Um, the technology will be able to work with our kids every day. Moving outside, Middle Valley has two state-of-the-art playgrounds, each one built with child's development in mind and the idea that every student, no matter what their ability, can enjoy it. And that was important to us, that we had equipment that would be accessible to students with special needs as well. But what won't be accessible, these doors during school hours. In our new building, there's one access point. That is the front door. Everything else will be secured. The hallways built to withstand natural disasters. Also, our hallways, um, are equipped with double doors, double steel doors that really create safety. You know, if we have um, inclement weather that would require us to kind of be um, closed in. A school interim superintendent, Dr. Kirk Kelly, says can be a model for the rest of the district. You look at the storage that they have, you look at the space that's within the classroom, uh, look at the design for the younger students and also even out to the playground. So this is a, a model for uh, all of our schools. Alyssa Sperato, News Channel 9. And right now, DeYoung says they have 883 students registered.